the opportunity to to go to Dino's and and see a lot of the the SEMA stuff as well. Um, it just it's it's so cool, man. You can draw so much inspiration from everything. So um, it just it, it it keeps that flame burning. Was there? It's kind of cool that it's a seventy four because in seventy three they put the spid build sheet on the front inner fender so your driver's side or i guess in america the left side inner fender so like with yellowstone um you know you got to save it it's they they switched it up with the you know 70s they put everything in the glove box 73 they put them on the, that front fender was there a build sheet uh in the glove box is there a spid build sheet in there we've got a spid build sheet still in the glove box so that's how we could confirm the yeah the 350 still factory number um you know with all the cool stamping on it on the back of the block obviously with the clock in terms of when the casting was done um it was heavily heavily optioned so um you know we've got uh comfort tilt uh we've got all condition the air conditioning uh gas tank plates the 31 gallon tank um oh, i haven't looked at it in a while but you know i think still the Catalina blue frost white. Like I know there was such a vast uh, arrangement of colors you could have chosen from. So, um, you know, all the factory, the, the tinting as well. It's um, yeah. I remember looking at it because those SPID, the, the spid sheets can, they can come quite thin in terms of options. And other people, I think when they're on the dealer floor, just went, put everything on, let's, let's do it. <laughs> well, and if Chuck ordered this thing, he, he did it up. Right. So it, it might've been one of those things where maybe it didn't sell and he picked it up or, but who cares at this point, it had all those options and, and you got it. Do you, is that one of the things where, you know, for us, we're so small, we don't even have to take a second to think about it. It's like, Hey, I can get vintage air. If I want to get vintage air, I can get vintage air. Is that something where because they started importing more and more, like you said, I think you said 79, 80, is that something where do you try to stockpile some of those AC components because they are a converted component? Whereas if you have a problem, it's near impossible to get any, any, any parts and or AC parts, especially because you can enjoy that. Yeah, it's it's definitely there'll be occasionally where you do find specific right hand drive parts for the squares pop up, and anytime they do, I constantly got you know the the misses going. We can't put any more in the garage. Come on, geez, how, how many more spare parts do you need? But it's it's like how long's a, a piece of string? It's it's definitely um, you know something where it, it is it, we, it's hard building you know, truck, trucks over here, it's definitely, it takes, you know, like anything, it, it, it takes a lot of time and, and a lot of patience. It's, it's even like the builds over there, man. It's, you know, you, you gotta be dedicated and, and hungry to, to, you know, see, see it through. Um, but uh, I think one thing that's really cool with it is there's definitely a lot of people that message me stateside that are interested in right hand dashes and other components for the squares that they pop up. And if anyone ever, you know, has a hunger to convert a you know even one of the the first gens or a square there are parts out here where you could convert your truck to right hand so um you know join join the club if you <laughs> if you if you're ready for it <laughs> yeah the irony of that is uh, if you guys were to have people want parts from there shipped here that would be yeah that would be hilarious people would get a little taste of it i know even the folks up in Canada deal with some of that, you know, where again, we're just so spoiled. And to me, it's just that extra level where you, it just proves my, my thought of your passion, somebody who's willing to spend and do that. It's again, we're just, we take it for granted because, you know, we can have one or 10 or whatever it is and don't think anything of it. I mean, they're still driving around today. Uh, I guarantee if I go out on the road today, I'll see, especially in Arizona, I'll see, uh, uh, I could see all three generations if I drive around long enough on the road, you know, still running, not even a question. And for you guys to, you know, harvest that, find those parts and then build such a killer ride has there been when you go to shows and stuff because it is such a unique build have you had media coverage from down there do you get in print or you know win some awards or do people just do you take it to you know cars and copies or or you know whatever it is down there or do you have bigger shows that you take it to yeah we, we do have a really you know the the aussie car scene is it's it's 
fantastic for a lot of the the old stuff there's definitely not many cars and coffee or uh, you know there are there are a few big events but there's i think some level of intimidation almost when you see like a lot of the old steel bumper cars that we have rolling around here are the old holdens or the old fords and when people do see these you know slammed c10s or lifted k series they kind of go oh geez like what's up what is this thing? It's that you can see the gears clicking almost. And um, it's, you know, with, with a lot of the, the media coverage and I, I've had some people reach out that want to put it in adverts or have it for weddings and stuff and always more than happy to accommodate for it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I've just built it kind of to, to enjoy it. I'm not really too fussed what people think and if it isn't their cup of tea because it's not something you see all the time over here so you do get those more kind of like wow this is awesome or ah look it's nah it's not really what what i do or anything like that so um yeah at the end of the day man it's just you know every time getting in it puts a smile on my face someone else goes this is wicked when you're at the gas station or i remember my you know dad growing up had a bronco or you know an f truck or something like that and bringing back memories for other people is is really what i do it for i i I didn't build it to you know park it and and hope people like it it's it's like man it's you know as long as it makes me happy it's you know that that, it's all that matters at the end of the day without sound greedy so have you been offered uh any money for it to where somebody else had to have it oh there has there have been a couple of offers i have had so there's been an offer um a bit north of a hundred for it previously. Um, I did honestly think about it because it does sound quite appealing in the bank account, but uh, you know, I, I, money doesn't make you happy. Jeez. You know, I think we've all lived off noodles and you know, the, the the dollar menu at McDonald's after buying copious amounts of parts. So that's what makes me happy. It's, you know, I, I didn't build it obviously hoping someone would offer me some obscene amount for it. It's, it's purely just to, to, to be on the journey and, and, yeah.